Christmas draws near. The church emphasizes the joy which should be in our hearts over all that the birth of our Savior means to us and for us. The great joy for us Christians is to see the day drawing near when the Lord will come again in glory to lead us into his kingdom. The word veni, which is Latin, means come. It's a term often commanded by Old Testament prophets, but it is also the conclusion of the Apocalypse of St. John. Come, Lord Jesus. These are the last words of the New Testament. Today, today is known as Guadalete Sunday. The term Guadalete refers to the word rejoice. Like the old song says, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Jesus Christ. Joy is 
one of the characteristic signs of the presence of God in the human heart. Joy is one of, of the things that we will celebrate during this Christmas season. But it's easy to confuse joy with pleasure. The pleasure of alcohol, drugs, and immoral life. In Thessalonians, it states that the source of true joy comes from prayer. Pray without ceasing and give thanks. Joy is the result of the opening of the heart to the impulses of the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of John talks about the light. Light is pleasant and good for the eye to see, and pleasant emotions are, are associated with light. Job says, to come to the light means to be alive. The Gospel of John continues, whatever has come to be found life in him, life of which human beings was also light that shines in the darkness, light that darkness cannot penetrate. Even John the Baptist is introduced in the same image. During this Advent season, John the Baptist's message is to proclaim to us he points out to all people that the light of the world is Jesus Christ. Those who follow him will not walk in darkness, but will have abundant light. His call is appropriate because we live in a broken world where the sparkles of deceptive and seductive lifestyles are countless. But these sparkles glow for a short time. When they fade away and turn out to be slithers, slithers of death, only the light of Christ indicates true value, those on which one will never regret. To recognize Christ's light, the testimony of someone like John the Baptist is necessary. Faith is not born of reasoning and false revelation. But when listening, the Apostle Paul says, How can they believe in him without having first heard of him? And how will they hear about him if no one preaches about him? For many Jews, Jesus was insignificant. He was passed, he passed without their realizing that he had come to bring them joy. My brothers and sisters, let us not fall into that category. For we do believe in Him. We know His real presence in the Eucharist, and we experience Him in our very own souls. We see Him in the faces of the people we meet. Advent is the time when the bride, that is humanity and the church, is prepared to welcome the bridegroom, that is Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, in an encounter of eternal life. So rejoice. The Lord is coming. Amen.